place for people to be happy. A magic kingdom of fun, fantasy, and adventure. In 1954, Disneyland was just a painting on canvas. Exactly one year and a day later, it came to life. Since then, it has become world-renowned, and its visitors have helped to write a fast-growing history. Disneyland's trains have traveled a distance equal to seven times around the world. Along Magic Main Street, USA, the horse-drawn vehicles have carried seven million passengers a distance of 121,000 horse-powered miles. In keeping with the history of early America, Frontierland has added her new chapters of adventure. The Indian village has grown. Today, 17 different tribes are represented in its families. The Columbia took her place on Frontierland's Big River, a full-sized replica of the first American ship to circumnavigate the globe. Adventureland, the busiest jungle in the world, where 12 million explorers have discovered its wonders and excitement. As in any thriving jungle, there's always the new, the unexpected. And Disneyland's well-run jungle has a reception committee at every bend of the river. Disneyland has been host to more than 18 million visitors, to kings and presidents, to almost one in every 10 Americans, to people of every land, every race, every creed. From its beginning, Disneyland has expanded and grown as new ideas were added. The Swiss Skyway between Fantasyland and Tomorrowland now passes through a man-made mountain, the Matterhorn. Rising high above Disneyland, its rocky slopes and icy alpine caverns provide a thrilling bobsled ride. On the other side of the mountain, in Tomorrowland, a fleet of submarines, patterned after America's atomic fleet, is carrying passengers on a voyage through liquid space. The Disneyland monorail, first of its kind in America, a highway in the sky. Yes, it's a gala day here at Disneyland, so let's join the crowds along Main Street, USA, the most famous Main Street in the world, and watch the dedication parade and ceremony. We're looking up Main Street from the heart of this magic kingdom as a world-famous figure signals the start of the big parade. Leading the vanguard is the Disneyland Band, the marchingest band in America. And here comes the color guard bearing the national flags of the United States. Here's today's host, Walt Disney, having a grand time with his grandchildren. Special guests, Mr. and Mrs. Roy Disney. Vice President of the United States, Richard Nixon and family. The Shaggy Dog, with friends Annette Punicello and Roberta Shore. And here comes the famous Firehouse Five Plus Two. Representatives from Fantasyland, Walt Disney's cartoon family on parade. And in their shining armor, the Knights of the Carousel. In front of
of the reviewing stands, a gay 90 number, the Horse Car Ballet. Here's Frontierland's entry, the Golden Horseshoe Float. A parade preview of Disneyland's Swiss Matterhorn. Later, we'll see the official dedication of the mountain. In the saltwater salute to Tomorrowland's new submarine voyage, mermaids distribute jewels from King Neptune's treasure chest. Disneyland is dedicated to all people of all nations around the world. This section of the parade reflects that principle. It's Buono Saluto, as Italy greets the spectators in typical old world fashion. Austrian mountain dancers with their centuries-old Schuplottler dance at a festive note. From south of the border, Mexico's vaqueros and muchachos. of Spain is here today. The Gigantes. These Spanish figures date back six centuries and represent the four parts of the world known at that time. Here's China's representative. This colorful dragon is more than 150 years old. And then there's the smaller, sports model size. The Kasumakai dancers, young representatives of Japan. From Adventureland, a jungle launch is on a main street safari for today's festivities. That fearless white hunter is Wally Vogue. And here comes the biggest, brassiest band of its kind ever assembled. All trombones, just listen. Look at Tommy Walker's strut. signals the opening of Disneyland's new adventures. So, from Main Street, USA, the celebration moves to Tomorrowland and the dedication of the submarine fleet. 
Exciting event here at Tomorrowland Submarine Loading Docks. And in keeping with Navy tradition, Admiral Charles Kirkpatrick opens the dedication ceremonies with host Walt Disney. And in keeping with Disneyland's tradition, there is always the unusual, a mermaid ballet. With the words, I christen thee Nautilus, the flagship of Disneyland submarine fleet is ready for her maiden voyage. One of seven submarines, the Nautilus proudly heads out for an adventure in liquid space. This is your captain speaking. We are now underway and proceeding on course for a voyage through liquid space. Destination, the North Pole. Rig, ship for dive. Rig, ship for dive. Dive, dive. <coughs> Pressure in boat. Straight board, sir. Very well. see some of the strange inhabitants of this undersea world hiding among the seaweed and weird rock formations. With the use of our exterior sonar hydrophones, we can actually hear the fish talk. Salvage operations ahead, sir. Divers to port and starboard. Very well. Take her down to 350 feet. Use 10 degree down angle. Flood negative. The graveyard of lost ships. Think of all the treasure that must lie in those ancient halls. Crossing bow, sir. Proceed with caution. Steer clear of mothership. Sir, sonar shows polar ice cap dead ahead. Very well. Continue on course to pole. Scraping iceberg, sir. Take her deep. Take her deep. Blood negative. Blood negative. Aye, aye. A giant squid. Giant squid have often been mistaken for sea serpents. Such reports have persisted for centuries, but of course they have no basis in fact. Tall tales of ocean monsters should be classed as fiction, along with the myth of mermaids, a pure flight of fancy belonging to the realm of make-believe. view into the distant past, the fabulous lost continent of Atlantis. The treasures
wonders and grandeur of this ancient civilization are believed to have been submerged centuries ago by the eruption of a gigantic volcano. All ahead, full. Aye, aye, sir. All ahead, full. Helmsman, steer clear of those tottering columns. Aye, aye, sir. <laughs> Stations, stand by for action. Fair to surface. Landing by to surface, sir. Officer of the deck, make all preparations for entering port. From the lost world of Atlantis to the world of the future is a long jump. Yet it can be done with Disneyland's magic as we witness the debut of tomorrow's transportation, the monorail. For this official opening of America's first monorail system, Walt Disney introduces the principal speaker for the occasion, the Vice President of the United States. Here also, for the dedication, are many notable guests. There's Robert Cummings, June Haver, and Fred McMurray watching as two young ladies, Julie and Tricia Nixon, cut the ribbon with special scissors that... that, uh... <laughs> that, well, uh, just won't cooperate. <laughs> Well, when there is a timetable to keep, other methods are necessary. Gliding smoothly along its concrete beamway, this highway in the sky passes above Autopia's four new super freeways. The beamway winds through Tomorrowland at various heights above ground level. Its intricate signal system is controlled electronically. Now we're speeding above another new adventure, the motorboat cruise. Approaching the Matterhorn, Disneyland's man-made mountain. Every confirmation and outline of the famous Matterhorn in Switzerland has been duplicated to scale. On this day, it'll be dedicated and officially opened. In fact, crowds have already gathered at the mountain's base for the start of the festivities. As the monorail completes its run, the engineer signals to another horn blower for the ceremonies to begin. There are several 
several ways to get up a mountain and down again. One of the most exciting routes is about to be officially opened here at the Swiss Chalet loading station. And here's a bobsled starting its run. side of the Matterhorn, members of the Sierra Mountain Climbing Club scale the sheer face for the first time. and Swiss flags are planted on the pinnacle as a tribute to this massive new addition to Disneyland. Getting down a mountain like the Matterhorn is another problem. This technique is called rappelling, and it's only recommended for experts. champion figure skater and star of John Harris's Ice Capade.
As a closing salute to this gala day at Disneyland, fireworks are touched off, creating a spectacular fantasy in the sky over the five lands of this magic kingdom, Disneyland. Disneyland.